That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. That's probably one of the most famous words ever spoken. It's what Neil Armstrong said when he first stepped on the moon. But ever since the event, millions of theorists believe the mission didn't even happen and was faked by America in order to beat Russia in the space race. Some say it was filmed in a Hollywood studio and others say it was staged deep inside Area 51. But here are five things many people to this day say prove the moon landing was a complete hoax. The American Flag Movement The fact that the flag placed by Neil Armstrong was flapping as if there was a wind breeze has led millions of people to claim the entire thing was staged. You see, the only reason we have wind on Earth is due to air, but since there is no air in space, wind cannot be created. There is, however, solar wind that is produced by a stream of plasma release from the upper atmosphere of the sun, but that would not have affected the flag on the moon, so why was the flag moving if there was zero wind? From a conspiracy point of view, the reason it was flapping is because it was staged. But from a believer's point of view, the flag's movement is because the astronaut just placed it there and the vibration from when they let go kept it moving. NASA have also come forward and claimed that the flag was stored in a thin tube and the rippled effect was caused by it being unfurled before being planted. And since there is no resistance on the moon, the flag just weightlessly flapped until the kinetic energy had died off, as opposed to gravity slowing it down like it would have done on Earth. Very clear footprints in the moon's surface. Gravity and moisture all help preserve things like footprints here on Earth, but since the moon has nearly zero gravity and a very low moisture content, then how did the footprints leave such a sharp imprint? Theorists believe the landing must have been staged, as there is no scientific way it would be visible, but many experts say that the fact the moon is so dry would have been the very reason for the visual footprints. They say the moon has a flower-like surface of dry lunar dust that would help leave an imprint, and since there is no wind on the moon, the dust would just be left unsettled. This one does sound a little bit iffy, but of course there is no way of knowing for sure what to believe. No stars. How come there are no visible stars in the background? If you were on the moon, there would be no clouds present, so surely stars would be highly visible, so this must be a black backdrop. This is a question asked frequently by theorists. If Apollo 11 was a hoax, this certainly wouldn't be the piece of evidence to prove it, as unfortunately this does have a scientific explanation, and here's how. The moon landing took place during the lunar mornings, meaning the sun would have been shining brightly, and the sunlight bouncing off the moon's surface into the camera lens would have washed out any light coming from the distance, especially tiny stars. NASA say when you're on the moon, you have to block the landscape from your vision to see any notable stars. It is the same concept as the stars not being as visible in a big city as opposed to the countryside. It's because the light from the city is washing out the stars. So this one can be ruled out, but if there were stars visible in the moon landing photos, then this would have been much more of a reason to doubt the mission. Neil Armstrong was in on it all. Neil Armstrong, who sadly died in 2012 at age 82, gave very few interviews after his 1969 moon landing. And the fact that Neil seemed to avoid talk about the moon landing caused theorists to conclude he was of course lying and finding it hard to keep the truth from the public eye. This mainly arose after his interviews were examined and showed what people say clear signs of lying, and he seems very uncomfortable when asked questions about the Apollo mission. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. When asked about that quote, he said he hadn't planned it, and it just came out after he touched down on the moon. But not so long after his death, his brother announced that it wasn't entirely off the bat, and that Neil had pitched in the line before he left for the mission. Does this prove the moon landing was a hoax? Of course not but it would be good to know why Neil did lie to the public about the famous words. Here is a fun fact about Neil. In May 2005, Armstrong became involved in a bizarre legal battle with his long friend and barber of 20 years, Mark Sizemore. After cutting Armstrong's hair, Sizemore sold some of it to a collector for $3,000 without Armstrong's knowledge or permission. The crosshairs. The theory? In several NASA photos, it's apparent that crosshair markings from the camera lens are imprinted behind some objects, a result from editing and tampering with the images by adding objects into the staged photographs. From a conspiracy point of view, pictures were taken of the fake moon landing, which included the crosshairs from the camera. Several objects, like the moon buggy you can see here, were then photoshopped in after to create a more realistic image, hence the reason the objects are in front of the crosshairs. It sounds somewhat believable, but there is also a very good reason this could have happened that cannot be overlooked. The reason is due to overexposure, meaning anything would be blurred out and unseen. It's a similar concept to the stars not being visible like I said in Theory 3. Here is an example of an overexposed image. 
you can see the crosshairs are visible in all areas apart from the overexposed bright white star. But again, there are arguments on both sides. But the biggest question is though, do you think America put the first man on the moon? Thanks for watching, see you in the next video and feel free to subscribe for new videos every week.